Hey, Bat Collectors. Today I'm going to talk to you about Batman Rack Toys, produced by Henry Gordy International, starting in the late 70s. We're going to go through every piece they ever produced. You're looking at their 1979 catalog. This is the front. Here's a page inside featuring Batman toys. A lot of these toys were recycled for Superman, Spider-Man, and other characters, and were cheaply made and could be found in dime stores. This is the Metal Whistle, made in 1978. All the 70s card backs for Batman toys feature DC stock art by Carmine Infantino from the 60s. I even mentioned this to Infantino when I met him. You're looking at the 1978 back goggles for swimming. It's an uncommon piece. The most rare piece Henry Gordy ever produced on Batman is this jailhouse lock and key. It is incredibly elusive, super, super rare. And here we have the superheroes code flasher from 1978. Card features Superman as well. And another card back featuring Superman, the superheroes sparkling gun. This is the first spark shooting gun made by Gordy for Batman in 1978. And another 78 piece is this bubble gun. And another 1978 piece, Superheroes Ball Blaster for Batman. They made this for Spider-Man in red. Here is a more rare version of that same type of gun. And it's the only header carded. Gordy Batman piece ever made. Fast forward to 1988, we get the Bat Pistol Target set. You're looking at a rare French-Canadian version. Here's the US. And here's an even more rare UK variant where over there they made all the light blue Batman guns in mustard yellow. And they were put out by Picket Toys in 1989. Picket Toys also had their own version of the Spectra Star yo-yos and other Batman toys from 89. Another 88 piece is this Pop Gun Target game with Penguin and Riddler standees. Mostly what Gordy made for Batman were guns of all kinds. And here's the 1989 Picket Toys UK variant in mustard yellow with a Joker, Target, Standees, because they were hot for the 89 movie with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. And here's the Batplane Launcher from 1989. Though it's dated 1982, that's the copyright for the artwork. And here's the 1989 UK exclusive Picket Toys variant. Here's a rare 1989 French-Canadian version of the Survival Kit. Here's the U.S. version. Remember when Batman was stranded in the wild and he was a mountain man and he, he used the axe to, you know, hack people up and turn into a cannibal? Remember that? And he was knifing... Yeah. That was the desperate mountain Batman. That dude was savage. Here's the 1988 Crime Fighter set, my personal favorite. There's five variations in total. Here's the round sticker variant for the play Walkie Talkie. And here's an even more rare French-Canadian version of the same toy, made by Charin Toy Company. And of course, the UK 89 movie version that same utility belt set put out by Picket Toys. And finally, the rarest variation of this toy is by Take a Toy on a generic card with no Batman artwork. How do you say rare with a capital R? Here's the 1988 Batman handcuffs. They can also be found in more of a lighter aqua blue color and the 1988 binoculars and telescope 
They should have labeled them the bat Noculars and bat scope. Here's one of the better ones in my opinion. The 1988 bat signal flash gun. This is the fluorescent orange cap variant. And here's the black. Black cap versions mislabel the Joker as the Riddler. It would be considered an error card. Shows the window pop graphic of the dynamic duo. And here's a European version of the same toy. And the 1988 Night Flash Sparkle Gun. And here's the extremely rare Take a Toy card back version for that toy. When this translucent gun is found loose, people tend to think it's a 70s piece. And here's the 89 water gun, which actually look pretty batty compared to their other Batman guns. And of course the 89 Picket Toys UK version. The second most rare Gordy Batman toy ever made is this here, the Bubble Blaster. Not many examples survived because when the bubbles ran out and kids didn't know that they could just mix dish detergent and water, the gun was of no use so it was tossed. My card back is stained from the bubbles evaporating. It's from Woolworth, the original five and dime. They were popular there. Here's a rare unauthorized Batman rack toy set of guns from that same time period with a sort of Miller Dark Knight Returns Batman on the card back. Nothing else was going on at that time, so it's an unusual piece. Two spark shooting guns. And here's the 1988 Batmobile racing game. It was actually a large find of these. Notice the Superpowers Collection Batmobile depicted on the card. And the 1989 Picket Toys UK variant. There are other 89 Picket Toys Gordy Batman toy variants, but I just didn't have images to show. Finally, these 1988 Puffy stickers on individual cards. You would have thought they would have made a green one for Catwoman, but here's a red carded Joker and a blue carded Penguin. And finally, a yellow carded Riddler. Fast forward to 2010. Henry Gordy International had a sad ending. They were sued for $1,100,000 for recall toys they didn't pull from family dollar stores. An agency said there were three deaths associated with the auto fire target sets they produced and sold exclusively at family dollar. You're looking at their abandoned factory and warehouse in Plainfield, New Jersey. It's in a residential area. It's been vandalized. Lots of broken windows. A sad end to a nice toy manufacturer.